In this video, I'd like to introduce you to seven basic tools, the rectangle, circle, freehand open shape, freehand close shape, digitize open shape, digitize close shape, and digitize blocks. As mentioned in an earlier video, once a tool is selected, the options that are available to each of the tools becomes available in the responsive toolbar. And depending on that selection, the properties that you can select appear in the object properties flyout on the right. I encourage you to test and experiment with these. There will be more detailed videos on these options and properties to follow. This video is focused on the actual tools and how to use them, with some comment on when and where to use each. The rectangle tool is used to make squares and rectangles, and is a two mouse click process. The first click establishes a starting corner and the second click completes the process. Click, hold and drag while holding the control key will create a perfect square. The circle tool creates circles and ellipses. The process here is slightly different. The first click establishes the center of the circle, then drag till you have reached the radius required and either left click again and hit enter or make no second click and hit enter twice. This will create a perfect circle. To create an ellipse, make the first click and drag. When you have reached the required radius, left click once, and then drag the mouse away from the line you just followed to create an ellipse shape. Click again, followed by a single enter. To digress slightly, choose Outline from the Responsive Toolbar and hit, then hit Stitch Type from the Properties box. I love how intuitive and easy this is. OK, moving on. The freehand tools can be used with a mouse and are both ideal for use with a Wacom drawing tablet. You'll notice both tools have a smoothing slider in the Responsive Toolbar at the top. The input method, select the tool, left click hold and drag. As soon as you release the mouse button, the shape is completed. This is amazingly simple. The digitized open and closed shapes differ slightly in that you click each point that you want the shape to adhere to. There is a very important thing to remember here. Left clicking of the mouse creates angular nodes and right clicking creates curves. The Closed Shape tool does not require that you make the last click on top of the first click. This is a self-closing tool. In fact, it is not recommended. Make your last click within a reasonable distance of the first point, and depending on whether the last click is a left or a right click, the last piece of line will be either a straight line or a curve. The last tool is the Digitized Blocks, and may be for some a bit more difficult to master. It is what I call a column tool and is designed for columns of stitching of a varying width that requires lots of turns and curves. The left and right protocol for sharp and curved points applies. Maybe a vine or a snake shape. The process is to click on either side of the column so each click has a partner on the other side, which determines the column width. Each of the pairs should be approximately opposite each other. To complete the shape, hit enter. Here's some homework. If you're not happy with the stitch angles, look further down the list to add and remove stitch angles and test what they do. And one more tip. If you've left clicked when you meant to right click or vice versa, Select the node and hit the space bar. 